Hey YouTube, uh, just got done uh, rebuilding this carburetor on this uh, YZ250F and what do you think I need to do next? See my little homemade contraption here, just an old small engine gas can. Just plumbed in a uh, shutoff line and then my own filter and I'm checking the carb. And why do we want to do this? Why do we want to check our work? I'm going to kind of put this about the angle that it would sit on the bike. And then what I need to look for are leaks. And I have leaks at the bottom of this bowl. And I know that when I rebuilt it, if you can kind of see that how it's dented and dinged up and they had a bunch of pipe tape on there. So uh, I need to point that out for you right here. I'm also testing my own work on my float needle uh, replacement and repair and I had a, a ceiling issue there. So, But I, I can't stress this enough that you have to check your work. And I'm telling you right now, if you want to drive your boss crazy, you techs out there, if I put took all the work to put the carb on the bike, hook up throttle cables, do you know all this work, put fuel on it, possibly even put the tank on the body work, and then find out you got leaking on the ground, you got to take everything back off. It's definitely a waste of time. Create yourself with this little kind of saying at the college that came from a YouTuber over in Europe that was a pilot. And they said that uh, when he was learning to fly, he was really taught about creating a second to slow down, check things, and then make that next move. And uh, they called it a 140 moment. It was something to be with uh, the knots or the airspeed or something. So we come and use that at college uh, to create your 140 moments where you're going to stop and check your work. So this is a perfect example here that had I put that on the bike... I would have to take it back off and so you know figure out ways you know with auxiliary fuel tanks you know we've got a, a nicer one at the college uh, motion pro brand that i love and uh test your work in stages so that you don't have that delay of having to go back to your boss or the customer like oh i gotta take it apart again it just you know make sure you know to think about that i mean i just can't stress this enough it's i mean think about this one like there's no need to even hook the throttle cables up i i do not need to mess with any of that i need to find out if i have uh fuel system integrity before i take a next step and uh, once i get happy with that i take the next step and then on and on and on and man you're just going to find yourself to have a lot less headaches you're going to have a lot happier bosses and honestly your customers too because sometimes we work on stuff and it didn't go right so let's talk about that from every mechanic's uh, viewpoint on what does it mean to check your work. Me just looking at that and thinking, okay, I don't see anything on the ground. That's not, in my opinion, checking your work. Checking your work is so crucial that if I really want to be a, you know, a craftsman, I'm going to get in here, get really good light into where I actually did work and not just assume or just say, ah, oh, good enough, okay? We don't like good enough, right? So I gotta fix this. Uh, it's not ready to put on the bike yet. So keep wrenching, make it a great day. If you like what you see here, would you please share it? I'd love you to keep my platform going here on uh, technical education and uh, um, the ways to be great in your craftsmanship. So keep on wrenching and we'll see you again in the future. Thanks for being a subscriber and follower of the channel.